I've got some more smart home automation type stuff to put in this studio. Exciting times! Regular viewers will know that I've been adding some smart home stuff to this studio recently, although that is pushing it a little bit because it is mainly just security cameras. Today that's going to change because I'm going to add some smart home stuff from a company called Akara, who are very kindly sponsoring this video. They've sent me three things to check out. The first one is this AI-powered camera hub. We've also got a door and window sensor. And finally, and perhaps most excitingly, a automated roller shade driver. I'll check out this and also the door and window sensor later in this video. But to begin with, I wanna get my hands on this because it looks quite cute. And if you know me, you know that I like my cameras. So this Akara Camera Hub G3 is billed as an AI-enabled Guardian. It's compatible with Alexa, Apple HomeKit, Google and lots more. It's got a 2K resolution with a 360 degree viewing angle. It can pan and tilt with a built-in motor and it can recognise faces, pets and gestures. It's got infrared control and it's also a hub so you can connect up to 128 Akara devices to this camera. Now this doesn't record footage, the idea is that it tracks movements in your house or in your office or in my case in my studio and then from that you can build in all sorts of automation so for instance if I walk into the studio I can make this pick me up and then do something with that information and I will dig into that over the next few weeks but to begin with I need to find somewhere to put this that is gonna make the most sense in this room right let's address the elephant in the room straight away you might not want the ears on your camera hub g3 it is quite cute and I assume it's probably for kids bedrooms and stuff like that but You'd be glad to know you can whip it off. So now, where do I put this little camera? Well, I think it needs to go over here on my production desk. The reason for that is that I have another internal camera over there, but that only covers what's behind this curtain here. I don't get to see what's going on here. And crucially, if I put this over there, it can spot people, namely me, coming up the stairs. Right, that was fairly straightforward. The device itself has a USB-C connection, so I've just plugged that into the power, very straightforward. And then you go into the Akara home app, and from there you just follow the instructions. If you set up any kind of home smart stuff in the past, it's very straightforward. You'll know how easy it is. It's just next, next, confirm this, done. And with this, because it's a camera, you do have to show it a QR code at one point. That worked straight away. And also, as well as adding it to the Akara app, you can add it to the Apple HomeKit home app as well, so it appears in there. But now this is set up, it's now a hub in this room, which means I can set up my roller shade driver. This is the roller driver, and it's gonna go here, which is the only roller blind in this studio. I do have two other blinds, but they're Venetian. I don't need those to be opened at all, really. But this is a blackout blind, which occasionally I like to open. But being a 21st century lazy person, I'd like to have something else do it for me, which is why this is gonna be so, so useful. And the idea being that I can ask Alexa to open the blind for me, or I can set up some tasty little automations with my little cute camera G3 thing over there to automatically open that blind at certain times. Oh, and also I can use that door sensor, which I'll install in a moment, so that when I open or close the door downstairs, the blind will either raise or lower. Oh, and it's just two screws. That's all you need. Very straightforward installation. They promise a five minute install. So let's see if that happens. Well, I'd say five minutes is pretty accurate. It's just two screws, really straightforward. And if you're as lucky as me, you might be able to use your existing screws that you had from your traditional blind holder clip thing. So that's fitted. Now I need to connect it to the hub. Basically went into the Akara home app, added a new accessory, held the button on the roller driver for about five seconds. And even though this is over here and the hub's over there, it connected within about five seconds. Add a card to the homepage board, which means it will appear on the homepage of the Akara app. So now from the app, I can close it, open it. That's so easy. Right, here we go. Open the blind. 
Now onto the door sensor, and I do have a problem with this door, nothing to do with the sensors itself. Basically, this door is recessed too far, so I can't line up the sensor. Basically, you have to line up the two little markers on these two sensors. One of them goes on the wall, or the door frame, and the other one goes on the door itself, or the window, obviously, and you're supposed to line them up. I can't do that on this door, because as I say, the door is recessed too far back. So I do need to find some way of packing it out to line up these two sensors, which I can't do in time for this video, unfortunately, but I have tested this, and it does work very well. So basically, I can connect this to the hub upstairs, and then when I enter the door, it can automatically open that blind. Really smart stuff. I just wish this door was a bit more convenient. I'll be getting that sorted this weekend. Right, that's everything set up, and if you know me, you know that I like very simple tech. Stuff where you don't have to get into the weeds to get things set up, and Akara has pretty much nailed this. Because although you can set it up with your home assistant of choice, which works very well by the way, you don't necessarily need to. What I've done is set up a bunch of very simple automations in the Akara app. But if you go into the Akara app, there's so many things you can do. So for instance, on the camera side of things, you can turn on human tracking, which is pretty accurate actually. I've played around with it and it does follow you pretty well. You can also track your pets. I don't have my dog Eddie here today, but I'll bring him in at some point to give that a test. There's a cruise mode, which is great. So it can basically swing around your home, or in my case, my studio while I'm not here. And you can change the way that it does that cruising, when it does it. Again, it's that automation. You can automate all of this stuff. There's face detection as well, which is very straightforward to set up. You just take a photo of your face or upload them from your albums on your phone, and then it automatically recognizes those faces when they appear on the camera. And again, you can set up automation for that. So for example, if you want to send yourself a notification when a particular face is recognized, or if you want something to happen when a unfamiliar face is recognized, you can do all that again within the Akara app. You can also add scenarios to your roller shade driver, which I quite like. So I've created one called entering the studio, and I've set that basically to open the blind 100% when I enter the studio, and then you can attach that scenario to automation. And it uses an if then statement to set up these scenarios and don't worry, you don't need to be a programmer to work this out. You start with the if, which is the trigger for the event. And from there, you can go into the accessories. So for example, you can go into your camera hub G3. And from there, you can choose a whole bunch of triggers like abnormal sound detection, motion detection, known face detection. You basically choose the trigger for the event and then you choose the then, which is basically where you tell the system what to do when that thing happens. It couldn't be easier. I've brushed the surface with what you can do with Akara. If you're the sort of person who really likes to get deep into their home automation. I don't think I've used anything quite as simple as this. You can create scenes as well, which can then be attached to Siri, so you can use them as Siri shortcuts. But for me, I've now got a camera sat on my production desk, which is now covering the entire room. And that means while I'm away from the studio, while I'm at home, I can use the Akara Home app to tap into the studio and see what's going on. Now, that's great from a security point of view, but again, me being forgetful, it also means that I can check out if I've left something on my desk, which I do all the time. But when you combine that camera with that brilliant roller blind, which I know it sounds silly, but that is going to save me a fair bit of time each week walking over there and pulling the blind up and pulling it down. And more importantly, from a security perspective, forgetting to pull the blind down when I leave the studio. Now, I'm going to dig into the Akara system a lot more over the next few weeks. So if you want to follow me on this journey where I'm going to keep building in automation to this studio, make sure you subscribe and hit that bell. But once again, thank you to Akara for sponsoring this video. Thank you for sending me these fantastic accessories. They're not the last, I can tell you that. I'm definitely going to add to this. If you've still got some time and you want to see a full tour of this studio, keep watching for a link to that video.